Jess Clamar, YouTube channel. Hey everybody, welcome back to another video of mine. Where in this video, we're going to be sat eating some p -p 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 pasta. I cooked myself some dinner, I went to the shop a minute ago. Oh my god, look at the eye. F freaking Jesus, look at me. Um, I don't like looking at myself because it will make my eyes water even more. But I decided, you know, what while... I decided, you know what, while I'm ill, while I can not really barely taste anything, but, you know, when you got all told it's quite prohibited, I'll just extravagant and test out different things in the kitchen, and I'll cook and see what I fancy. And luckily there was a uh, ready-made sort of tomato -y pasta pot in the, in the cupboard, so I thought, never used one of them before, throw that in, because you guys know me, I don't really like tomato dishes. This is nice, I've already tested it. Um, went to the shop, bought some tagliatelle, some pasta and some, some veg. Uh, tagliatelle, chicken and some veg. And I thought instead of, because what I usually do is stick the chicken in foil, stick it in the oven and then wait till that cooks. And then it goes, and it's relatively okay. I thought, you know what, no, cover it in oil. Not cover it in oil, but sprinkle a little bit of oil over it. Salt, pepper and paprika. Shove that in an oven on some greaseproof paper. 20-25 uh, minutes and then half because the, the veg I bought was boiling the back veg but I do half of that in the microwave put it out put it in a pan fry the rest of it off add some uh, just a little bit of, like a tiny little smidge of butter just to fry it off a little bit some more paprika salt and some or no it was other oregano at the time no it was one good basil basil goes well with veg so I put some of that in it and then obviously add it in the pasta uh, pulled the chicken out, cut the chicken up, put it in here, and then, and obviously added a, a couple of teaspoons of that pasta sauce, and we have, oh, this isn't doing it justice. Wait. No, I'm not going to use a thumbnail like that, because you can see my face, and it's mean. But we have this. It looks and tastes incredible. This took a total of about 22 to 25 minutes to make. The chicken was in for 20 minutes. That cooked quite nicely. Along with like the oil on top, fried the top. So if you look at this chicken, if I can show you it properly. If it decides, there we go. It's got like a nice, this, this skin on the outside It's nice and sort of crusty. Not crusty, there we go. So, but it's got like the salt and the pepper so out and then the inside's nice and tomatoey from where I've mixed in all the sauce and whatnot. But we're just gonna go ahead and eat this now. I might go for the Jeff Music Man sort of approach. Where I just sort of hold it and This tastes incredible. I think a hundred percent of all like the pasta and spaghetti dishes I've ever made, this has been the best ever. Which is odd because it doesn't have bacon in it. I hate being ill, guys. I hate you with a passion. Especially when it's my week off. I'm going to keep saying that because it is my week off. Sweltering. We have 
as you'd expect. A kind of Pepsi. chicken is lovely. I've got broccoli. Cauliflower. And carrot with a bit of tagliatelle. Spaghetti pasta. The video, oh my god. I was gonna do a blow in my nose. I said it's probably annoying quite a lot of you right now. Look how red my whole face looks. My lips look bright red. My nose is obviously red. My eye looks ridiculous. But yeah, um, I released the video today of the Chelsea Rumble. Which is going down the tree with quite a lot of you. <coughs> which is good. Very good. Well, obviously. We played against Liverpool last night. And we beat them 2-0. Which was an incredible result and performance. From quite a lot of the, quite a lot of the guys. Over in Chelsea. Billy Gilmore is an absolute baller. Looks absolutely incredible. However, Kovacic went off injured, which isn't good. first season I've tried out this new tactic that I saw on YouTube in a football manager it's like a asymmetric 4-2-3-1 you play with a deep line playmaker in like centre defensive mid then the right hand side you play as a centre mid as either a deep line playmaker support or box to box and you play just your normal pardon me attacking midfielder on support wingers as inside forwards and then you strike it on an advanced attacking um, striker is it yeah is it called attacking striker I don't know what it's called advanced forward on attack that's the one we managed to finish third in the first season to the quarterfinals in the Champions League lost to Barcelona but only 3-2 on aggregate which is pretty nice oh my god and uh, we won uh, the FA Cup and the Carabao Cup like way but oh no no we 
I think we lost to Liverpool in the FA Cup. We got a pretty tough draw, but the board are happy, so I'm happy. But obviously transfer embargo up until January. I then sort of panic bought two or three players to really strengthen the squad. Both play I bought Depay. He's not happy at the club and he's not performing either, so I want to get rid of him. And I bought Gerard Moreno as a replacement striker. Because Giroud's left at the end of the season. And um Bachelet I want to go anyway, but Gerard Moreno isn't pretty anyway. And he wasn't very good. So I'm, I'm now looking to get rid of him and Depay already because I brought in um, some Ukrainian right winger who's incredible and Alexander Isaac at striker. I say back up for Tammy Abraham because Tammy Abraham's now a four and a half star out of five. Rocking. But Mason Mount isn't performing too brilliantly. Well, no, he is performing. He's just not rated too good. Yet. Uh, we sold Rudiger to Arsenal for 47 million. Happy with that. And I've gone and bought Ruben Diaz for 52 million. So, paid 5 million basically for a much, much better centre back. Especially because Rudiger was the only three star centre back we've got Christensen, Zuma, and Tamori. And in the system we play, Tamori is a ball stopping. A. a, a, a Ball playing defender as a stopper, and Ruben Diaz can play that and a central defensive role perfectly. So, Ruben Diaz comes in as whichever player we don't need or we need to rest or whatever. And then Kovacic, Jorginho, and Kante make up the midfield as you'd expect, with Loftus Cheek still not long being back from injury at the end of last season. Just thought I'd update you guys. That is incredible. That's really, really nice. Last thing to mention is when I roasted the veg after I, you know, microwave them for a minute and a half to two minutes, put them in the pan to roast. Added a little drizzle of honey because you know I've been adding honey to my dishes to make it a little bit sweeter and a little bit more, you know, add a little bit of different flavour. Um, I decided to add it to the veg because you know you get honey roasted veg anyway, but I, I boiled and fried them basically anyway. Flavors, flavor in it. But I've surprised myself while I've been in. Because usually I have next to no appetite at all, which is strange. But this time I've like really craved stuff, which is strange. For me anyway. I'd be happy if this was a restaurant, I'm not going to lie to you guys.
I think I've just proved to myself how hungry I was. appetizing my ASMR sound. the end of that video I didn't think I'd get anywhere near finishing that I didn't realise how hungry I must have been which again goes to me being ill and not really having much of an appetite but thank you ever so much I should catch you later good <laughs>